everyone. This is Janie from JJ Ray Jewelry Designs. Okay. Um, bargain bead box time. I have an ice cube in my mouth, so I'm sorry. Ran out of water. I can get a soda, but don't want one. I have to go upstairs to get more water. So. Um, I have two of these. So, don't know why, I don't know how, but somebody's going to get both of them probably in the giveaway. We'll see what we have, though. Okay, so we have, it's called Blush, and it's, I don't know, I'm not going to set the mood for you. Because you'll be able to read it. I'll include it in. Um, I'll include this letter in with the giveaway. Blush, nice pink package. I see some rose quartz in there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I get very happy when there is natural stone involved. Boy, this looks fun. All right. If I ask you where something is, point to it and tell me where it is. Because sometimes I can be looking straight at it and not see it. So number one is a 13 and a half inch strand of four by three freshwater pearl button beads. Look at these folks. They're little, <laughs> they're, they're four by threes, but they're cute. And the, the thing is, is the hole goes from top to bottom, not side to side. So um, you really have to have an imagination to just, figure out how you're going to use them. You almost have to um, strand them, string them, like they are here in order to get the most out of them. Number two um, is an eight inch strand of eight by six electroplated Chinese crystal beads in peach opal. Here are the peach opal. Ta da! Aren't they beautiful? That was number two. Number three is a hundred pieces of Chinese crystal bicone beads, light rose. So they're going to go really well with the rose quartz that I saw earlier. And you get a hundred of these. Um, I don't know if a hundred is worth a, a project or not. Don't look at my my band. <laughs> I lost a uh, diamond, so I'm going to have to replace it soon. You'd think a jeweler would do that right away, wouldn't you? I'm busy doing stuff for other people. So these are really beautiful and sparkly. Beautiful rose color. But they're bicones. I don't think I would ever have a use for them. Um, number four, a 10 inch strand rondel bead in peach. Uh, glass, glass rondels in peach. So they kind of go with the some um, opal peach that they were showing earlier. I don't know if I would... It's up to you to put peach and pink together. They, they go. Um, number five. Flower medallion charms. In gold, gold color. It's four pieces of 20 by 16, 
flower medallion. Oh, sorry. I say sorry a lot. And I say that too a lot, don't I? They say I say I'm sorry a lot. <laughs> yeah, four pieces of those. Um, number six. This is six or nine. Oh, no, it's not. Where's six? These are uh, 50 pieces of four millimeter swirled rondelle beads. They're spacer beads. They're tiny. They're four millimeter. I don't think I can. Um... Oops. <laughs> There. Can you see them better that way? At least they're not. You're not getting that reflection. <laughs> uh, seven crackle agate round beads. That's these. They're red. Crackle agate. Let me um help this one up more. Come back down. <laughs> it won't go up more because my bar is in the way. <laughs> okay. Eight. Oh, that sucks. Where's eight? Man-made jersey. Resin, it's made out of resin and brass. So let me get my light back up. It's made out of man-made resin and then brass around the edge. The nine, um, are two, that one was eight was an oval, and nine, there are two of these, they're teardrop, man-made jersey, resin and brass. I have connectors like that, only they're real, or they're genuine, I should say. Um, 10, a four inch strand of six millimeter round rose quartz beads. This is not a bad one. You know, I, I look at this and say, huh, I probably keep most of this stuff. I think I would. So, um, number 11, 25 piece four loop links. Oh. Okay, so it's like a clover, but they're saying it's a connector. Can you see that? So you have four loops on all of these, so they can be connectors. And it's pretty brassy. It doesn't look gold tone. It looks brassy. 12 is 20 pieces of 7.5 millimeter star cap beads. What millimeter? Hmm. They're saying this is a 7.5 millimeter bead, star cap bead, bead cap. This is more like a four. I can't see this being a seven and a half. If you go from point to point on those stars, then you probably have seven. I don't know. Uh, 13, seven and a half inch strand of eight millimeter rose quartz beads. Um, 93 um, millimeter crescent 
chandelier pendant. That's kind of pretty. A one meter, three millimeter Rolo chain. Um, two piece chandelier findings. So these will match the crescent as earrings. If the crescent were a necklace, then these would be matching earrings. And then 17 is a three piece um, hook and eye clasp. And I'll take that out because it's kind of neat. The approximate total for this is bag was uh, $62, and I'm not sure how much I paid. I have no clue how much I paid for this. I don't know, it's probably 20 bucks I paid for 29 Anywhere there, that's the hook and eye. You can see the... Um, I has um, a little bit of a decoration on it. And there are three of those. And that is the end of the bargain deed box. The blush. I'll open the other one just to see if it is the same. I'm certain it is, and I don't know why I get two of these and two of those other ones. I've got to do something about... Yeah, this is the same. This is the same one. So, I don't know what I'm going to do. If you'll get two, if you get one or if there'll be none in the bargain, in, in the uh, giveaway of that one. I know uh, all of the other ones that I've done so far with like check glass and things like that in them, I, both of them have gone in my giveaway bag and my giveaway bag um, <sighs> was started three months ago let me go get it and just show you what I have in it so far. I'm not going to show you everything. I'll just show you how big the bag is. So this is the bag. It doesn't even fit on screen. Let me... See if I can widen out a little bit. So this is my hand and this is the bag. And you can see there are two of these blue satin bags in here. There's a, a green one and there's a, a check bead box. Um, some of these wine uh, rings that you can make something out of. Let's turn this over and look at all of these um, little plastic boxes full of stuff. And there are other little bags inside this bag. You know, there's a huge bag of check beads right here. And there are a bunch of, um, I just, there's just a bunch of stuff in here. I would say this bag retail, what I paid for it. What I paid for this bag, I would say there's four or five hundred dollars worth in here so far of things that I've paid. So, um, and this is not, we don't have 25 um, subscribers yet, so this will continue to grow. This is not everything. <laughs> I have other things that I have not gone through to put in here yet. I have tons of, tons of other stuff. So it's going to grow daily. I do, 
um, unboxings every month. There's another one coming up from, um, I don't know if you liked them. There's another one coming up from, what is that? Jesse James Beads coming up yet. There are unboxings that I do for other people or other associations like um, FabFitFun. There's a box coming up that um, for summer. So um, those things could go in there. There are, there are other subscription boxes that I have that are not just beads. So those could go, go in here also. And I know this bag is going to turn into a basket. I have a basket that I bought just for all of this, and it's really big. So um, it's a huge giveaway for just 25 subscribers. I don't know if anybody has ever done this. So anyway, um, please, please give some random person a huge, genuine smile for me today and take it easy beating. We'll see you later.